Sandra. I guess in the musical term would be Riley. Okay, yeah. Riley. Ah, uh, recently was the opening act for Coldplay for three nights straight. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Get to meet Coldplay. I met. I, I met Chris. <gasps> Yeah. In what context? Like we had a conversation. Ooh. Hey guys, welcome back to part two of this episode, and we still have Riley with us. In me. So yeah. when you the the first night, yeah, the first minute on stage, mm. how did that feel like? Oh, it was <laughs> mad. Um, the first night, first night. Okay, if I had to rank my shows, I had three shows, right? I guess it was nice because we rehearsed so hard, and usually you only have one chance, like. You have one shot mm. to get it right and like one shot to do it as best as you can. But this time I had three. Okay. <laughs> so it was ah, quite nice. Okay, like, yeah. Anything that wasn't good on the first one, I could like kind of change Tricks, up yeah. and then fix for the last one. So the last one was the best. Like it was, that was the best. And then it would be the first one and then it was the second one. Um, but yeah, during the first day, I was like, it was mad. I was super nervous. I mean, as one should be. Yeah. Right? But I think that th- throughout the whole time, like prepping for this, I was telling myself, because I have anxiety, right? So usually before a show um, or leading up to a show or an MV shoot, that's when my anxiety gets the worst. Like I'm super anxious because I'm like, ah, you know, the whole typical mm. anxiety is like, what if everything goes wrong? Like, what if like, I don't see them bad? Mm. Okay, you know, like, if I trip and fall? Like, like, oh, like if I go key. off pitch. Go off oh, okay, yeah. okay. Like if, oh, if I, no. yeah, like stuff like that. So, I mean, so many things that could go wrong. I, I forget my lyrics, which has happened multiple times before. No <laughs> yeah, I think, I think yeah. what my next question was. But sorry, please continue first. Oh, no, I forgot what I was saying. No, so like, 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 before the lights on, and then you're on stage. The so first day the, like, you were anxious. Mm. You were so, talking about your anxiety. Yes, so <laughs> I was super nervous, always before. But the moment I start the routine, like once I start putting my makeup on and everything, and then that's when... I'm like getting into I'm becoming Riley mm. Mm. So the moment Like Sandra's at end, Like she's fucking anxious Right <laughs> But as Riley Like The moment I step on stage I'm like I'm ready Like yeah. So I was telling everyone Okay no like Oh I'm so proud of you I'm like none of that Just be like Slay bitch Slay yeah. <laughs> ah, yes. I need that kind of energy yeah, You know yeah, like yeah. Just confidence And like Just like Go and kill it You know You're just gonna So I had to like Get into that Like And a lot of self talk mm. And like, okay, this is it. This is this is freaking war time. Like, I gotta go and like slay and like yeah. kill everyone. Um, but yeah, not not kill everyone. Kill everyone with, with music. music. Yeah. And <laughs> love. Yeah, yeah. 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 So what so, happens? Yeah. Do you have like a screen in front of you? No. What like an iPad with no, you? No, no, like no. a teleprompter. Some, like, yeah, yeah, I know some some so stages. Some, yeah, some people have that, but usually it's like singer singers, like ballad singers. So like Michael Bolton. So mm. I did perform a song with Michael Bolton before, and he had a. Uh, a teleprompter which I thought was great because I had to do one of his songs and I couldn't remember all of mm. lyrics. It's not I had to learn it like one day before yeah. or something. And then the worst part was that there was a teleprompter, right? Which is kind of like karaoke, like really yeah. tells you like when you should come in. And I come in at the wrong time and I sing over his verse. <laughs> <laughs> no. This is Michael Bolton. This is yeah. while he's singing. Yeah. I, oh. I start at the same time as him and then he goes and I'm like Sorry, Mr. Bradford. And then both of you guys stop. <laughs> no, he continued, but he was oh. like, ha No, but he's so funny and he like he just joked about it. He never like <laughs> let, <laughs> let it go after that. Yeah. But yeah, that, Sorry, that was so, so embarrassing. So, I was yeah. like, I went, huh? <laughs> but I love watching you and Michael Bolton. It's very cute. Oh, no, like so, the dynamic is yeah. so cute. He's yeah. such a nice person too. Very funny. A lot I of jokes. I didn't know you performed with Michael. Yeah. Bolton. Yeah. It was Google part of the that. show, yeah. the Which, like a competition. Is that yeah. the one that Tian won? Yes. Oh, my sister no, was on no, it. No, not the, but the, you were. My sister was not on that. She. Okay. No, a different <laughs> one. It was the same one, but you, she. No, but that's Bolt of Talent. Hers was. Oh, not wasn't Bolt of yours? Both. Oh no! I think hers was before. She won like a long time ago, right? Like she no, was someone the OG one. Came after yours. Oh really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. Mona knows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I remember. Oh, but it's a separate show altogether. Yeah, Bob Talon uh-huh. was with Michael Bolton. But what happens if you forget your lyrics? You just wing it. Oh, huh? I mean, you just hope. I mean, most people probably wouldn't know your song, yeah. <laughs> so you can sing whatever you want, <laughs> and then you just either ad lib or you just have to be super confident and you just like. <laughs> just keep going or just pause and just be yeah. like but do the bad mates <laughs> do the bad mates they know each that other? Oh, okay, they know, okay, okay, they know okay. they'll be like oh if you come in the wrong time which I've come in multiple times as well mm. so like sometimes you think it's to, to come in now and then you come in and you're like oh crap Narelle did that <laughs> during the show usually I'm the one that makes this kind of mistakes but then this time on the, I think it was the first show that she came in the wrong time so she had to sing, sing like the verse like again <laughs> and, yeah, no, and for this show Narelle like out of the four of you Narelle is the one that hasn't performed for so long probably yeah she's been 
traveling the world, living her yeah. Thai Thai life. Very yeah. happy yeah. for her. Very she was in my good. school. Huh? Yeah, CJ. Who? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah. We, oh, yeah. I yeah. think so. Small S- world. Yeah, SGI. Yeah. Yeah. Small world. I was like, oh. Narell is your senior. No, no, CJ. no, CJ is my senior. Oh, her fiance. No, I yeah. asked question twice. So happy. Not listening. You know his ex girlfriend. His ex girlfriend was so mean. She used to bully me so much. <gasps> Who's ex girlfriend? CJ's CJ. ex-girlfriend used to bully me so much in school and mm. she was sitting behind me and she'd be like I hate the way she puts on makeup why must she <gasps> be so extra why must she walk so extra like, once I was walking in front of her she's a mean she girl. was like behind she was such a mean girl she was like oh, why does she always have to walk like that and I could hear her oh my god so, like what? what what do you walk as yeah I don't know anyway mm. CJ now Hot is dating la. Narelle and I'm so happy yeah. and then I'm like, <laughs> I'm like <laughs> no but why are you wearing makeup in secondary school I uh, it, JC Oh, Jesse. Oh, same. Because same I cannot. Person. One can well, express hot. herself, right? Yeah. Cannot. Yeah, so That's the rule. You cannot wear makeup in school. Of course, you can if you want to. If, if you look can. good, you can do anything you want. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, anyway, it's been a long time since I've been in school, so I forgot what the rules are. Anyway, what did I want to say next? Oh, your outfit was damn nice. Oh, oh yeah, yes, nice outfit. outfit. Was yeah. it custom made? It was. Oh my god. Who, who did it? So it was. Um, when this happened, I, I approached Nike. I was like, uh. can we do something? Because um, the outfit needs to look sick, right? Mm. And also, I wanted all my dancers to be dressed in like Nike and all that. So, usually, they always support me whenever I have performances. But then this time, because it was so big, so um, they got Josiah Chua, who's a mm. stylist, who's mm. also part of Team Nike and Nike family. Um, and then we worked together, together with Diana, who's from, from Nike. And we came up with the outfit yeah, it, was it was crazy dope, it was like we deconstructed and then reconstructed <laughs> was yeah. I feel like there's a the, the, I know there's one with like a very big like uh, <laughs> yeah it was like a coat yeah. so it was like a puffer coat and it was also Nike and then um, it was two coats actually that he, we cut from others and then we added on to make it longer and then it was made up with a lot of half jackets and mm. skirts no jackets mm. yeah so it was really everything was like pieced together and it was like it was super cool yeah, yeah. it was like I, I didn't even if I didn't see the Nike Pro thing there you wouldn't I, know everything from Nike no no I would I would know it's Nike but it's athletic wear like yeah. Nike Pro is what you wear underneath yeah mm. so yeah, the idea made it was look, to, yeah. to because I was thinking what would make me the most comfortable right like because I could definitely wear like a really like what nice dress whatever but I was going to be dancing as well mm. and I knew that for this show I wanted to be comfortable and I'm most comfortable in sportswear but how do we elevate sportswear and so I think that was the the, the theme that we were like um thinking about when we were creating this look. Um, and then so the the coat, right? It obviously it sounded really good, but then didn't realize how heavy it was and mm. how hot oh. it was. Yeah, that was my question is, wasn't it hot? Red hot, oh. girl. Like dancing. It was so warm. So during rehearsals, um, we tried it and I'm like, oh, this is hard. I couldn't do a lot of the moves. So I had to um, like change it up. So, and I had to really control where I swing it because if I step on it <laughs> I'm stuck oh God, and I'm yeah. screwed right so the funny thing about when I was wearing the coat I can only walk one direction mm. like I can only go forward I cannot go backwards <laughs> oh, because yeah, because you train. step on it yeah, yeah, yeah so I have to go forward if I want to turn around I have to go like this <laughs> oh my God. or I have to like flick it so there's a lot of additional stress in a way that okay I not only have to focus my singing my dancing I also now have to focus on the outfit um, so at first it was really hot but then on the last rehearsal I told Josiah I was like Joe cannot it's really damn hot and I was so afraid that it was going to be so warm especially mm. in the National Stadium mm. and then plus when you're nervous you're going to get even either it will warm me up which would be great or it will drain me because it's so heavy yeah. and it's like it's like it's like working out with a like an a weight vest yeah, yeah weighted vest or something yeah so um, we he ripped out we ripped out the inside so there's like there was a fluff layer um, oh, yeah, 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 on yeah, the yeah. inside so we ripped out like half of it so it made it a lot lighter and a lot cooler as well so yeah I guess it all worked out <laughs> oh wow because from photos the flow of it was beautiful so I wouldn't imagine that it was heavy the oh, bottom was too down. heavy oh, so that it could okay. have that weight to like oh. <laughs> Right, it might so be like fluffy, gorgeous! Yeah. And who took the photos? Cool. It was perfect bong. timing. <gasps> bong. No way! Yeah, Very was like, cool, the bomb. Good job, bomb. <laughs> oh my god! And, and your friends went with a t-shirt that says, uh, "I'm yeah. Riley's friend." Yeah, that shout was out that funny. Riley, my friend. Yeah. Woo! Riley, your friend is here. Thank you. Morning, Riley. Morning, Riley. Riley, your friend is here. <laughs> 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 Did 
you acknowledge them? I they couldn't see because oh, when okay. I'm on stage, right, everything is black. Like everyone is so. Like usually small bigger shows are kind of in a way easier because you don't see anybody. Mm. Mm. Okay, but for this one, I could see the people like beside beside me. Mm. Like they were semi lit, but I couldn't see. Like, it's hard to like point out people because there's so many people. I was trying to look out for people that I know, but I cannot see oh, anyone. Mm. And also with the nerves and everything, yeah, it was crazy. I saw uh, Daphne, I think, posted yeah. a story, and then people were singing along to your words. Yeah. How did that was feel for pains? you? I yeah. love Growing Pains. Oh, by the thank way. you. Yeah, that's yeah. probably my favorite song. Like, and if that was by yourself, for yeah. myself. <laughs> I mean, song song that I've written, I mean, oh, okay. that I've written. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> my favorite song that I've written, and yeah, I think also because it means a lot to me as well. And to hear everyone sing, dude, for so growing pains was so crazy. It's like my only like kind of like chill song out of mm. my whole like set. And then um, on the last night, all the lights came on, like the flashlights came on. I couldn't like oh. I was going to cry I was really super emotional on the last mm. night already because there was just so many people my family was there so that made me super emotional and then for growing pains and then before we started the song all the lights came on I'm like this is insane <laughs> It was really insane. It was really like a dream. I wish that everybody can experience this like once in your life or every musician because it's mad. Like you see it in the movies but to be standing right smack on stage in the center and looking at the crowd and just seeing like flashlights everywhere it was oh, mind-boggling. So nice. I was like, wow. That I'm, it's what a crazy honor to, to even witness this like once in my life. You yeah. know? Well, it's like, crazy to see your eyes like light up. Yeah. When you crazy. Like, talk about it. It was oh really? Yeah, 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 yeah. Eyes are, it's like it's watery. Mad. It's a bit it's, watery. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, don't start. No, the cry she will cry. Don't start. I'm already starting. Yeah, no. Oh, stop it, my <laughs> It's never your fault. It's there for pointing it out. Yeah, that's right. We were doing fine. Yeah, by holding it back in, you know. Yeah, no, but okay. So it was it was mad. It was really mad. I was trying to capture that moment and be like, okay. Because for me, whenever I'm at, okay, my anxiety is like, I would try to kind of just like, okay, let's just get it over and done with. Mm. Over and done. Okay, moving on. But I was like, no, this is a really big moment. I need to learn how to sit in this. I need to sit in this feeling. And like, and maybe instead of focusing on the anxiety, it's more of the excitement. Because it's actually yeah. the same feeling. But then your brain, you know, really? um, tells you different things. Mm. But I was like, okay, I am excited. And I am. So, it was leading up to that moment I was like oh my god because the first two nights there was not as many people so obviously there was not as many lights mm. um, but then on the last night it was crazy it was mad it was like so many lights I was like this is unreal and I was trying to sing and trying not to cry and it was really really fucking hard yeah <laughs> so bad what do you mean there wasn't so many people I thought it was like sold out it was but did, like people come late yeah uh, especially on the on the second day I think because it was Wednesday Tuesday, Tuesday oh so people coming in after work and yeah probably and yeah. it goes also because I guess Tuesday but somehow the Wednesday night one was like amazing mm. yeah I guess because last show mm. and also like I was changing up how I address the crowd How do I help Because technically my job Is there to hype up the crowd For Coldplay anyway Right yeah. So Yeah so. Is it hard to hype The crowd Because Tuesday Not gonna lie It was kind of hard Um, But then every other night was It was What if you do a Coldplay cover No but it's also Oh my god You'll lie. never get invited To do <laughs> anything <laughs> ever again Is You'll it like, be a like I thought about it is I mean, it, I it's a rule yes. of thumb, lah. Like, I mean, really yeah. if you did like one sentence, I guess still okay. But you wouldn't want. It was yeah. all yellow. Uh, yeah, I, I wanted. <laughs> I saw I wrote a letter to Kobe, and I wanted to write thanks for having me be the yellow of your job. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, nope, let's not do that. <laughs> yeah, but it is a rule of thumb, lah. Yeah. Hey, similarly uh, to yeah. DJ, the opening DJ should never play the the top hits. Yeah, because you have to wait. You know, it's yeah. like. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, <sighs> okay. What if you were called to open up for Ed Sheeran? I know you have said yes. Will you say yes? Yeah, I guess. Why, yeah. Okay, so, so then not? if let's say Ed Sheeran and Coldplay, if you open up Only for both... Only pick one. Uh. No, 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 no. Which oh. one will sit at number one? Coldplay. 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 Still Coldplay. Coldplay so you are hardcore Coldplay. Fan. Okay. I mean, would I mean, you I rather... Cool. No, would, would you, you rather, rather walk like this? <laughs> or walk, or walk like, like this? this? <laughs> I think like this. <laughs> what's this? I really need to understand. There's no yeah, what's this? <laughs> Sandra is the queen of would you rather. Oh. <laughs> she will always ask you the weirdest would you rather. <laughs> oh, no. I wanted to ask Muna. So, ah. 
Moon that la, last, would you rather open? <laughs> no, that last moment for her where she saw all the flashlights and everything was great, right? So what would be an equi- equivalent moment for you? Oh, what would make me cry? Everything. No, like, I mean, you, you perform- Everything made her cry. <laughs> so like for an uh, artist, yes. yeah. So now her co-play is at the top of the top and oh, you are like also oh a performing God. artist. Yeah. Mm. Like what would that be? Mm. Oh, everything made you cry. I think, I mean, okay, I, I think it's a little different. Like I have had Moments where I look into the crowd and I cr- want to cry. Mm. <laughs> She's not crying. Yeah. 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 Do you know I was with her and my my school teacher came up. The guy who told me, my school professor oh. from NUS, he came up. He was like, "Hey, Muna, I'm such a big fan," and she started crying. Huh? No, because he's your teacher. Like, he he said other oh, things okay, also okay. Oh. He like, said I'm such a big yeah, fan. Like, like, he talked you, about like OG. what our content did for uh, for him and for all like, like that. Like, for that, a like a minute, he talked for a minute and then she said, like, "No, I, as a person, <gasps> but oh. I was touched, lah." Uh. But I guess something, yeah, it something. Was a that like if you win an award and you were doing I, I a think, speech, or maybe it would be, or I don't know whether this is equivalent enough. But I think if I were to be able to work with someone like I really look up to. Like, like that's equivalent like Coldplay. Like Ellen, <laughs> like Ellen Rickman. Although you know, rest in peace. She's dead. Yeah. 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 Then pick someone yeah. else. <laughs> and you can. You just, manifest you, can, you can just go beside his oh, grave and perform. I must manifest it. I must manifest. Um, yeah, it's now. Now oh it's time God. to manifest. Manifest it. Who, do I, who yeah. do I want to work with? No, I need to think about it. I cannot just off the bed. Uh, yeah, Robbie Williams. Neo. Okay, Robbie Williams. All right. All right. Yeah. I thought you I said Robbie Neo. Williams. Why you judge me? Yeah. Oh, Robbie Williams. Yeah, I thought not you said Robin, Robin Williams. Williams. Yeah, although Robin Williams would be a Robin Williams is a... Although he's a singer lah, like Robin Williams. Yeah, yeah. But, but I think... you say yeah. Neo? Like... Why Neo? Huh? You said Neo. I knew you were just trolling me when you said Neo. <laughs> no, she said Robbie Williams or Chris <laughs> Brown. No, she, you are Chris Brown. I, I said Chris, Chris Brown. Brown. Yeah. And she said I Neo. I thought you said Neo. No, you said, said Neo. And I was like... The so, the, some context to this conversation <laughs> what is... <laughs> what's happening? Why... Like, so if there's a green pass... Okay. No, Ooh. it wasn't that. It was on Saturday night. We were all out. And then I was like, guys, are oh, we going for the Eras tour? And then like, oh, who okay. I would watch. So we were in a mixed group of people of okay. mixed races. Yes. And I was like, <laughs> oh my God, Taylor Swift. It's the Eras tour. Me and Chen, we are so on. Yes. We want to go. And then like, some of the people who are not Chinese were like, me. Yeah, they're, they're all right. like, she's all right. You go in. And I was like, what do you mean? Like, where's the excitement for this? And then I was looking around and I was like, is she not like... Is she not like? Are you guys not like a Swift fan? I'm not. I'm not. And then, and then, one of the guys was like, "No, like, I'm sorry, like, as a brown person, I we we like Beyonce." And I was like, "Oh, Beyonce's okay." And he was like, "What? Beyonce is like that?" I was like, "Yeah, I'm I'm an okay fan." And then he was like, "Then she said, yeah, actually." Beyonce, Neo, and Neo. I was saying Neo. It's like <laughs> Mina and Neo. 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 Come on, Usher, Usher, right. Usher, how Usher. about Usher? And Usher, of oh, yes. course, Usher. 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 Uh, oh my god yeah. I've always wanted to Play the Phantom In Phantom of the Opera yeah, that <laughs> was was Defying <laughs> Defying uh, Norms you know right me? But yeah no. That'd be quite hard But, see, but yeah, can you opera you. It's an opera show right A trainer mm. You, know, you can always easy, train man. right yeah. It's not easy But if I love it I want I it I will train it, it. Because he covers the face, so he could be yes, any, like, could be yeah. anyone And he was a woman You know So like a bit different You I like that You I do often any Wait, why don't we talk? Wait, <laughs> <laughs> Who was your dream? <laughs> no, Wait. what what would be like a equivalent like, to Sandra's uh, like uh, success in a okay, sense? Okay, I like think Coldplay. something that would be really cool is if I could um be the good witch on Wizard of Oz. I would also like to do that one. That doesn't go back to your career, Jay. <laughs> yeah, you are a DJ. So if like I, tomorrow night, for example, if you play tomorrow night, like, we'll In fact, they asked me before, like someone asked me to do oh, a small yeah. stage, but I didn't want to fly, it's really far away. Okay, no, they, and let her, they play let her really, be the good witch they play really in Wicked. Not my kind of music. In fact, a lot of times they ask me to do really like big opportunity. Like I have to be honest, a lot of the times when I'm asked to do like festivals or whatever, um, my answer is no for most of them. Okay. Yeah. So. Well, if no. the opportunity presents itself for you to maybe say like change your career path to perhaps one day become and play the good witch, 
and then basically the sun leave. will come out tomorrow. <laughs> Does any that sounds okay. like I have a career. <laughs> Would you know it's already the and, wrong And I'm not even song? doing it wrong. I'm like, I'm literally trying. So it, it'll never happen for But would you do it? Like, There'll be sun. <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Got I don't think it would or would not. <laughs> no. It's cannot, cannot. Call me. But <laughs> everything is possible. <laughs> like if they can train her, the you know, vocal training. Uh-huh. Yeah. I mean, that, with that said, anybody can hey, open Vocal Prima. Hey, yeah, it's dude. true. No, dude, listen. Uh. If you can now say three, <laughs> <laughs> anything is possible. Okay? Three. Three. <laughs> I know who you would do. He would do like Chris Martin. Okay. Okay, if I could do what? anything. What? It, what? Like, no, sorry. Did I say Chris Martin? I mean, um, J Balvin. What thing if I could perform with J Balvin? I don't know. He'll just say our wishes. Okay, oh. what would your, <laughs> what would your equivalent be? Yeah. <laughs> my equivalent, I actually don't know. I thought about it. Mm. When you got opportunity, I thought about it. Hmm. Yeah. My career, what I'm doing now, what would be equivalent? I don't know. I don't. Having your own late late night show. That I thought of oh. that also. Yeah. That like, could be good. Or like having a show on on Netflix. Oh like, yeah. One of my biggest show inspirations. While it doesn't look the same. And with the things we talk about is uh, my next guest is by oh, David Letterman. I love mm. that yeah. I think he's such a good interviewer. Yeah, he is yeah. really yeah. good. Yeah, and I like how he goes to people's house and actually yeah. like really dig for me. I really want to do that. But that's very attainable. I can see you doing that for sure. Yeah, so... We can Thank visualize you. it no. Like okay, we you have a show it. And then you have Muna there And they'll be like What is it The first female phantom Of the opera Is my next guest <laughs> yeah. oh, wow. And then I'll be like At home And then like Who is it watching. The phantom Yeah, yeah. No I, I guess Doing it Yeah <laughs> sure I have like I, I can ask Oh it's good and You could do it I mean starting more, more, more. <laughs> what? Yeah, Sing for me What Sing. I'm trying to, What I'm trying to say <laughs> okay, is it's What it's I'm trying to say uh, is <laughs> Okay, okay. <laughs> what I'm trying to, to say is starting show. a show is okay. Like I, I think I have the skills to start a show, but making it as big. Mm. Like mm. now, like for example, if I think the dream would be, I don't know, Malaysia calls me to interview mm. someone, or like someone comes into Southeast Asia, oh. like Taylor Swift, for example. Oh, I would love Southeast to play Asia. for Taylor Swift. That'd be so cool. <laughs> or, or I would like to be a backup dancer for Chris Brown, the one that gives him the lap dance. I be. think you can Nobody can. gives him I a lap think, dance yeah. He gives the person a lap dance You're just sitting on a chair No, 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 no no. He calls someone from the audience And he gives them a lap dance But yeah. also the girls dance on him So that could be me That would be what I would want to do All you have to do is just go to the concert oh, I would like to play with Taylor Swift Okay, I got a question for Riley Ah, yes When you have like a major Big ass concert At the National Stadium one day Who will open for you? Mm. Me and Muna Phantom of the Opera Yes <laughs> Done. Can you I be your interviewer okay? then? The three of you, it will be the three of you. Oh, you can yes. host the whole thing. <laughs> yes, in between her sets, you host. Yeah. Okay, yeah. guys, how are you? I have uh, to have a chair, yeah. you know. I have to be <laughs> David Letterman. Ah, yeah. Okay, but who, for real? Yeah. You know? The Sam Willows. No. no. <laughs> what? No. That's kind of rude, by yeah. the way. No, they will be. They will be part of Yeah, yeah they will come out as guest performers for sure. But, you know, I haven't thought that. F- I don't know because. I don't think it will ever happen and I'm okay with it not happening. Hey, no, no, no today is a day of manifesting. Correct, oh, but then sorry. I feel like I want to manifest other things. Like that's oh. not really part of my dream anymore. Mm. Yeah, like that is not a dream. I feel like I don't taste of it, I'm good. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, like, okay. I don't know, I guess I'm a bit yeah. of an overachiever, but in this sense, I feel like, whoa, like. So you're trying I'm to say good. you're done, you're done with not one done. thing more for music. Oh. She didn't say that. Oh, where did you get this? No, she said. She said. Actually, okay. in a way, yeah. Really? Yeah. I feel like, oh, maybe for this chapter of my life. Okay. I feel like it's been twelve years now mm. of doing music, and I want to explore other things. I want to explore creating other things in terms of music and what I can achieve as Riley. I feel like done. I I did it. You know, yeah. like like what's more than this that I can achieve? Okay. Yeah. I mean, have 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 is half lah, of course, mm. right? But I feel like. That will be a very, very tough mountain to climb mm. when there are fields around me that I have yet to explore. Oh, wow. that's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. it's cool. it's not, write it down. Wow. It could be a song. Right. Okay, can you write? Yeah, write no, it down. that yeah. should be your next song name. Your your closing song. I it's just a very said. long. Thing. Yeah, it's no, a very yeah, long yeah. title. Yeah, but it could be quite cool, like very indie, you know. Yeah, like feels yeah, to yeah. explore. Yeah, feels to, to explore. Yeah. Oh, uh, that's quite nice. Yeah, okay. but yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But um, I wanna. You know, after you do something that's your passion for like so many years, mm. at what point does it become more of a job than it is a passion? Yeah. You know, so I feel like I, I need time to feed that passion. While that happens and I get more inspired to make more music, I want to explore other things. I want to yeah. make other things. 
other than music. Someone yeah. said something similar to me yesterday. Um, to, so we are, to what you're saying now? No. Uh, oh, similar to her. Similar to what you're, oh, okay. you're saying. So basically, this person said, um, I mean, I was talking about the show and everything. And then they said, you know, sometimes you need to really know that you have been the number one and you have achieved what's number one in your head. Mm. And when it's time to let go, you would know. Mm. Mm, and yeah. I guess that's something of it's what you're, yeah. you're, you're, you're going through instead of like stressing like, fuck. Like for example, I guess... What's next? Yeah, what's next, right? And you will always... If let's say you continue on this journey with the same amount of effort and I bet your next goal is to be to open someone to open for someone bigger than Coldplay that will haunt you more in your career mm. because you keep trying to aim for that and trying Chasing to aim for that yeah. like continuously yeah. that's like cast 3 what? Cars 3 Did anyone Cars 3 Cars Cars oh, Cars 3 Cars 3 no, this, this is what Harry and kids I thought it was like Super like Yeah, like, yeah what? <laughs> Oh Cars 3 Cars 3 okay. it's, yeah. it's a plot of Cars 3 oh. That's what I was gonna ask you Oh really? Is the person who told you this Like no. were you just watching Cars 3 <laughs> Like Nick McQueen no, he, <laughs> he like he, he can't Like race as fast As the other cars oh. So he's just like You know now I wanna teach I wanna do other things And yeah. I don't wanna just be In this yeah. race Like David Beckham Stri- that's why I was asking you Are you talking about Cast 3 But clearly not No I'm not, I'm not. So just but, say no yeah. But that's but nice that, though I like that Yeah that It, is. it no, makes me feel a lot better About my Really decision. good movie I cried so much oh. On the plane <laughs> Still <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Like kinda like look back, know that well you have achieved the and number one. At some point of time you were number one. It. Like you, you know like MMA of fighters. Oprah. Wait, what? No, like you know how MMA fighters <laughs> like they will retire at the top, right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, so you, like done, I'm number one, yeah. done finish like, my career answer. Like I'm good mm. for now. Like yeah. for now I'm good. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. What, 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 okay, oh, what else? I wanna just ask like what else? Like what other like creative ventures? She's gonna start a clothing label. Yeah. Yes, yes. We were waiting um, to. So <laughs> you can, that. Wait, wait, let's do it again. Let's do it again. She's gonna start a clothing label. <laughs> <laughs> why? Why do you again? Okay, can? Because I interrupted <laughs> and oh. I interrupted again. Oh, okay. So no, can we do it again? Okay. So she can last properly one. plug her clothing okay. label. Uh, she's gonna start a clothing <laughs> label. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna use the first thing. Oh, but okay, guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Thanks for the push, dude. Yeah. I mean, it's been sitting in my mind for a super long time. And then they was like, okay, I'm gonna set you a challenge. You're gonna, you have to do something by the end of this first quarter. Is it coming? It's actually coming. It's coming. Yeah, that's yeah right. but it's happening. It's happening. It's supposed to coming. I mean, because Chinese New Year is really hard. Okay, but anyway, yeah. so um, that's something I'm working on. And then also, I wanna do. Be an Random artist uh. with a capital A mm. without the E. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, artist. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, um, making things like I don't know, is it like fine fine arts or like? Oh. Yeah, but basically, like, and you know, I've been working with a lot of resin and concrete and stuff like that. So, like, practical art. But basically, I want to make things that I can share with people. They can have a piece of it in their homes. Mm. I think with music is really like sharing my art, and it's a. For me, sharing my music is really like kind of an emotional connection. And if I can feel a certain way about a certain song, then hopefully there'll be someone else that can, you know, um, like I can affect the same way. But True then I want to... Yeah. But then this time, I want to have something that is tangible, something that you can hold. And because I'm actually more of a visual person than I am an auditory person. Mm. So visual things excite me a lot. Um, so yeah, I want to be able to give people pieces of art that they can hang at home. So nice. That's beautiful. Yeah, that is beautiful. Something Muna can never do. Hey, Something why? You can never <laughs> do. Why? 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 Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jit. But it's I'm like, kidding. But okay, like okay. One hour, five minutes. Like, don't stop talking like you. <laughs> <laughs> so we come to the end of this episode. Hope you guys liked it. Thank you so much, Riley, for coming in, sharing us your experience. Thanks, thank you. If you guys don't want Riley to stop her music, please go and stream her music. <laughs> yeah. Stream all every day. Just click, 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 yeah. click. So she don't, she she don't stop her like music. Like those K-pop stands. Yes. Keep yes. streaming. Yeah. <laughs> On all platforms. Yeah. If you don't want her to do any other forms of art. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I mean, let her also 
explore and yeah. then uh, consume those forms mm. of art. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Just but keep following Riley's artistic journey. Correct. Oh, thank yeah. you. Oh, that sounds so nice. Thank you. <laughs> if you guys have anything you'd like us to talk about, let us know in the comment section below. If not, we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>